Oh, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg, and welcome if you're new here. If you're not, welcome to everybody. Welcome to everybody, or welcome here. I don't know. Let's just say everybody is welcome. Uh, this channel, of course, is dedicated to the Washington Commanders. And if you're new to that, please consider subscribing to this channel. When you do, hit that notification bell. Let's let's just do the intro. So here we are. We are talking about yet another signing that the Washington Commanders have done. It is signing another quarterback. So now this quarterback... He has solidified the quarterback position for us. No need to draft a quarterback now. Okay, I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, Lord, I can't say that with a straight face. But anyway, Commander signed journeyman quarterback Jeff Driscoll. Uh, the Washington Commander signed journeyman quarterback Jeff Driscoll on Monday, adding depth at the position behind fellow veteran Marcus Mariota. And likely a highly touted rookie to be named later. Mm, who's that going to be? Driscoll, 30, is another player new general manager Adam Peters is plenty familiar with. Peters was VP of player personnel with the San Francisco 49ers when they selected Driscoll in the sixth round in 2016. The commanders are expected to use a much higher pick on a potential quarterback at number two with LSU's Heisman Trophy winner, Jaden Daniels. Yay! North Carolina's Drake May. Yay! Michigan's national championship winning, J.J. McCarthy. Yay! Among the possibilities. Mariota hmm, signed a one-year deal, ready to play. Or serve as a mentor. Okay, he's probably going to be doing the latter. After the trade of 2023 starter Sam Howell to Seattle, Driscoll, Marietta, and a practice squad holdover, Jake from State Farm, are now the quarterbacks on the roster with Washington's off-season workout program starting this week. Peter said you want to have the best competition and as many good players as you can to have the best team. And, of course, what, four, maybe five at the end? That's what they're talking about. So, obviously, they're going to probably going to training camp with five quarterbacks. Driscoll has appeared in 24 games for Cincinnati, Detroit, Denver, Houston, and Cleveland. His 12th and most recent pro start came with the Browns in Week 18 last season when they were locked into a playoff spot and he completed 13 and 26 passes for 166 yards and two interceptions as Joe Flacco rested. The Louisiana Tech Florida product has thrown for 239, wait a minute, 2,394 yards, 16 touchdowns, 10 interceptions since making his league debut in relief of Andy Dalton in the Bengals' blowout loss to Kansas City back on October the 21st, 2018. The Commanders earlier Monday signed running back Jeremy McNichols and wide receiver... Okay, I'm going to mess up his name. Olamade Zacchaeus. How, how far am I from that? Uh... McNichols had two stints with 49ers, while Zacchaeus played under new coach Dan Quinn with the Atlanta Falcons. And they all have a whole new draft class on the field when organized team activities begin in May and for mandatory minicamp June 11th through the 13th. Washington has nine picks in the draft April 25th through the 27th. I believe that number is going to go up. I don't know why, but I believe it is including two second-rounders among six in the top 100. For Peters to continue reshaping the team after bringing in 20 free agents who weren't with the organization's organization last season. So, folks, the, the organization 
or I should say, yeah, the organization continues to change and continues to be molded into something else. Now, we're hoping that that something else is something very special for this team. And we're hoping that with all of these free agent pickups, we are going to be able to sign best player available at each position. Well, I should say each position that they have a pick for. So, uh, Driscoll, there's not a whole lot to say. I mean, a camp body, you're coming in. This is usually what you want to do. You want to be able to bring in as many players as you possibly can um, from each position as you possibly can because you want competition. Competition breeds better quality at each position, better depth. Um, Jake Fromm, I, I would be interested to see. I would love for him to make the team. I, I think that there's still a shot for him, certainly. Um, and then, of course, you got Marcus Mariota, which, I mean, the dude's very athletic. Um, I mean, I thought he played pretty well at the beginning of his career. So, you know, there there's definitely the feeling that Mariota would be the backup. Um, but who knows? I mean, you know, maybe this guy comes in and he is the backup to whoever's going to be starting at quarterback. Probably not, but if he can be a good solid number three for us, I have a feeling he's going to be competing against Jake Fromm as far as that third spot, but I have a feeling they want three quarterbacks on this team, and I don't see why not. Folks, there you go. Another commander is signed, and we are going to get this thing going, folks. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like, give it a share. That said, I'm going to see you in the next one.